Welcome to the only live television show on Sarasota politics, Clout 941. I'm the host, Ron Filipkowski, and we're ready to bring you a great show tonight. Please visit our website, by the way, which has been up for about two weeks, www.clout941.com. You can watch all of our past interviews, see all of our past commentaries, and of course our past weasels of the week and rumor mills and things like that. Website's a really good place to, to visit, and you can watch our, our shows in eight to ten minute segments. Uh, tonight's guest is uh, Eric Robinson, who was the former chairman of the Republican Party of Sarasota. And uh, one thing we want to talk about tonight is a couple things. First of all, your screen may be a little off. We're experiencing some technical difficulties with the color, which hopefully will be fixed here in the studio tomorrow. But we didn't want to cancel the show. We wanted to bring it to you tonight, even though it may not be in the best quality. Now this week we visited the China Smith Foundation benefit. Many of you may know China Smith is a professional boxer from Sarasota who's been around for a long time and he started a new foundation which is great and, and it's intended to try to help get kids uh, off the streets, out of gangs and into athletics and particularly boxing. Uh, it's really caught on and we went to their foundation uh, dinner the other night and had a great time with China, we did some interviews and we wanted to show you just a brief clip of, of those interviews and what the foundation is all about. So go ahead and roll the tape. We are here at the China Smith Foundation Christmas party with Manatee County Sheriff Brad Stubbe. Uh, Sheriff, we had a couple questions that we wanted to ask you. First of all, um, usually when we think of the sheriffs and the deputies, we think about catching bad guys, but I know one of the things that you're very involved in is crime prevention and preventing people from coming into the system. How does the China Smith Foundation help accomplish that? Well, you know, we partnered with China, uh, I want to say about six months ago, and uh, because of his notoriety and uh, his working with kids, this has just been a great partnership with the Police Athletic League. And uh, we've been able to get a few new programs started, done some renovations on our facility, and I, th I think we're headed in the right direction here with China. How did you come to meet, meet China and get involved with this foundation? How did it start? Well, we had a boxing program at the Police Athletic League. We had a few people that were in charge of that and uh, th then they moved on and uh, we knew that China was in our community and he had a uh, boxing facility not too far from the police athletic league so we called him one day and said why don't you come partner with us or let us partner with you and let's really make this work good for our community and he's he was all for it and uh, it's been a good good deal ever since and what are you hoping to accomplish with the partnership well, I'd love to get uh, as many kids involved in the program as we can, get them off the streets, get them into the boxing gym. And he's not only teaching the boxing, but you know China. He's teaching self-esteem. He's teaching all kinds of things. And uh, any kids that we can touch and keep out of, out of the gangs, keep out of uh, the community doing the bad things, and keep them in the boxing gym, that's what we need to do. And China is uh, willing to help us do that. Sheriff, thanks a lot. Sure, Ron. Good to see you. We're here with the, the two men themselves, China Smith and Daryl Woody of the China Smith Foundation. First of all, China, you got a great turnout tonight. A lot of heavy hitters here. A lot of people here to support your foundation. Why don't you tell us what it's all about? Well, it's, it's all about you know helping the kids. Um, our logo is knocking out negativity. I just feel blessed that I have great people that's um, helping me and supporting. Um, great turnout, and you know we're just trying to give kids um, opportunity to, they can fulfill their dreams and 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 um, help kids strive to be set goals and small goals. So that's what we're trying to do to help the kids. I'm happy about the turnout. I feel truly, truly blessed. Tell us about your partnership with the sheriff's office. The sheriff um, had asked me a while back about what my thoughts and plans were for teaming up with the Police Athletic League, and I talked to my chief advisor, which my right-hand man, Woody. I thought it was a great opportunity because, you know, a teamwork makes a dream work, and to have a big organization like the POW and our organization, China Smith and Friends, what better um, to fit to, to, to be able to come together and have the same goals, same plans as helping kids build a, a bright future. So I was very happy about coming over and teaming up with the Police Athletic League. What about boxing? You you still fighting? Absolutely. Next five, six months, I will be back in the ring. I took I took some time off to reevaluate my career, to see what uh, lies out there before me. But as you see in the heavyweight division, it's wide open. So I will be back. All right. We're here with Fred Atkins, Sarasota City Commissioner. Uh, Commissioner uh, China Smith. Uh, how long have you known him and 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 his work? 
Well, I've been knowing China Smith probably since his birth. You know, I uh, him and his, his him and his dad kind of grew up in the neighborhood. I knew his dad because he's just a year or two younger than I am. So I've been knowing those China Smith guys for a long time. But um, young China, as he grew into uh, in his adulthood after an outstanding years in um, high school uh, athletics and became and decided to become a boxer. He, I, I just praised him and I went to several of his fights around the area. And I'm just I'm just glad to see that a uh, young man of his caliber and his constitution has decided to uh, take the leap into a community of giving and uh, just just loving young people and helping them to grow and be all that they can be. This seems like the kind of program that the city of Sarasota could get behind with some dollars. What do you th what do you think about that? In an, in an amazing way, uh, the, the city of Sarasota really did um, back out of the social service programs about 10, 15 years ago. When I first got elected in 85, we did do some of these types of things. But counted through his CHIP program and other social service programs through the, through, through uh, philanthropists throughout the city and county of Sarasota, that's where those programs go now to get funding. Thank you, Commissioner. We are here with Salvador and Tunes. Salvador, why don't you tell us a little bit about your involvement with China Smith Foundation? Well, I'm a member there, and it's a really good club. I go there from Tuesday to Thursday, and it's a really great place. How old are you? 16. And how long have you been going there? About four years. Just what about young people out there that aren't really involved in anything like the China Smith Foundation or sports? What would you say to them as far as the benefits of it? That it gets you in shape. It's really good to go there. It keeps you out of trouble. That there's like gangs and stuff out there today. And it's not safe to be in the streets. It's a really good place to go. What's your plans for the future? What, what What's your ultimate goal? Oh, I'm going to go pro. Be a champion. As a boxer? Yes, sir. All right. Well, we'll be looking for you. Yes. All right.